You've got some steady cash flow flowing into your bank account from your regular nine to five gig. And well, that's cool. But deep down, you're desiring more. More money, more time, more freedom. And you've heard this buzzword, passive income. It's flipping around the internet faster than a Midwest tornado, and you wanna know how you can grab hold of some of that good old passive income for yourself. Well, in this episode of the Online Business Clinic, I'm gonna be sharing with you 11 ideas to help you generate passive income in your life and business. Hey there, I'm Molly Ann Luna, business coach and host of the show, The Online Business Clinic, the place to be to build a profitable, portable business. New episodes are released every week, so do be sure to smash like and hit hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so you never miss an episode. Now, as a former financial advisor turned fitness coach, life coach, business coach, all the things, I am all about sharing smart strategies to help you create lifestyle and financial freedom, AKA build true wealth. We as legacy leaders, people who are striving to build a legacy business, we're on a mission to achieving financial independence for our households. And the best way to do that is to diversify your income, meaning set up multiple streams of income. So let's go ahead and let's dive into 11 of my most favorite ways to begin generating passive income. Now, quick word of warning, I just wanna share with you that there is a misconception around the term passive income. Many people believe it to be that it requires no work and that simply isn't the case. There is active income where you are physically showing up and doing the work and probably getting paid on an hourly basis. And if you don't show up and do the work, you don't get paid. Then there is passive income where you do a bulk of the work up front and some work on the back end to maintain that cash flow stream. But once everything's clicked into place, it is much more passive, meaning you aren't on a strict deadline to be able to show up and do the work that you need to do to maintain that stream in order to get paid. Bottom line, passive income streams still require some ongoing maintenance. But if you are willing to do the work, it is also very worth it. The key to making more money is to provide more value. Like the late great Napoleon Hill once said, money is just a yardstick that measures the quality and quantity of service rendered. Now, since there are only so many hours in a day and only so much anyone's willing to pay you for said hours, it's very wise to package your expertise and to leverage it in such a way that can serve the masses on autopilot without you having to be actively present in real time. Now, by all means, you're absolutely welcome to keep grinding out your nine to five, collecting that hourly wage and living paycheck to paycheck and hoping that if you save enough of your pennies, maybe one day you'll be wealthy. Or you could choose to work smarter and not harder by setting up multiple streams of revenue and to give yourself the best opportunity to potentially have your money go to work for you versus you always having to go to work for your money. Here's the thing, if you're wanting to take back control of your life and be able to really create a life that you love, one that it gives you the freedom to have more time to do the things that matter most to you, taking the time to set up passive income streams is one smart way to help you get there. Now, remember that the ideas I'm about to share with you on how to generate passive income, none of these ideas are a get rich quick scheme. They are going to take heart. They are going to take focus, they are going to take work to set up. But I promise that if you do the work, the work will start working for you. And if you are one of those individuals who buy into the widespread belief that things need to come now, quick, fast, and easy, I'm sorry, my friend, this episode is not for you. Now, when generating passive income, one of our first goals is to generate enough passive income that it is comparable to your active income source. Meaning that, let's say if you're making $50,000 a year, trading your time for money by showing up and clocking into your nine to five, let's set that first goal of generating passive income of making that equivalent $50,000. So that then you have the freedom to choose, do I wanna keep spending my time doing this? or not. I think ultimately it's not about creating so much financial independence that you don't have to work. That's great, but we're humans. We're creators. It's more about just having the freedom of choice. If you want to keep actively working 
or if you want to focus your efforts on other things. Freedom really comes down to the ability to have the choice to choose. Now, if we get enough passive income streams going, then the next goal, of course, is to be able to out earn our active income. Now just imagine how good that would feel. In fact, tell me in the comments below, how would generating multiple streams of passive income improve your family's life? I can't wait to hear what you have to say. Now, in order to make passive income that out earns your active income source, I'm going to tell you up front, it's going to take focused, consistent effort, sometimes years of work without seeing any fruit for your labor. Speaking from experience, this journey is not for the faint of heart. Now, once those passive income streams start flowing, it is so, so worth the upfront work and sacrifice. Passive income idea number one is probably my most favorite, hence why I ranked it number one, uh, because it really requires no skill and anyone with any sort of income, no matter how big or how small, can take action. And so long as they uh, see this as a long-term commitment, can truly, truly win. So passive income idea number one is investing. Now, as a former certified financial advisor, initially when I got my start in the career, I thought the world of investing was extremely, extremely complicated. And for most, it is. Oftentimes you'll hear people talking about like, what's the latest stock? What about Bitcoin or crypto? And that's all well and good for those individuals. But what I'm talking about here specifically is choosing to invest in index funds. When it comes to investing in those other securities, those do specifically take much more time, focus, and energy. In fact, Warren Buffett himself talks about this. I saw this on his Netflix documentary where he dedicates much of his day when he's not driving through the McDonald's driveline, getting his latest McMuffin, he is dedicating most of his days to reading pages and pages of prospectus for various companies to make a well-informed investment decision. And he's even been quoted to say that when he actually passes, he's just gonna have his wife invest in index funds because an index fund essentially is taking like all of the top companies and all of the stock in the top companies and pooling it into one mutual fund. So now rather than trying to become the best stock picker and investing your $50 or $100 or what have you in one company's one share of one stock, that money can be diversified amongst the index fund where you're getting a little piece of all of the top ranking companies. To set up an investment account only takes a few clicks of a button and you can invest as little or as much much as you want over the course of your life. Now, I would highly recommend that with every dollar you make, you set aside a minimum of 15% and consistently put that away. Now, depending on which index fund you choose to invest in, will have various rates of return. And while I'm no longer a certified financial advisor and I am not giving you financial investment advice, I will share with you just friend to friend which index fund that me and my family are currently choosing to invest in, and that is the VF IAX. But be sure to do your due diligence, read through the prospectus and or seek out advice from your local financial advisor to make sure that it is the best right investment for you. And again, this is not for those want to get rich quick sort of people. This is a long term investment. I really just want you to be thinking about the money that you're allocating to put away into your investment is not something that you are going to touch in the next 10, 15, 20 years. It's just an opportunity for you to grow your money seed that could eventually turn into a money generating machine where it gets to a tipping point where you are then able to solely live off the dividends. That my friend right there is setting you up for long-term financial independence. Passive income idea number two is real estate investment. Now, while real estate investment does take some upfront capital, 
it doesn't necessarily require any specialized skill set. If you're new to navigating the property market world, the world of real estate, I should say, just find a trusted advisor or a local real estate agent to walk you through the process. I know that for me, I was terrified of navigating the real estate market because I didn't have any clue about anything. There's so much red tape, so much paperwork, but now that I'm on the other side of it, I have to tell you, it's not as scary as you might think. Now, I do wanna warn you that with real estate, there does come, or any real investment to that matter, there does come alongside it some risk. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure to just do you know, an internal like risk assessment and make sure that it's something that you are comfortable with. Now, as far as managing the properties, that's always something you can choose to hire out down the road or take on yourself and stash away a few extra dollars. Whatever you feel most comfortable with, but make sure that you align yourself with a team who knows what they're talking about. Really do your research and your due diligence before making that investment. Passive income idea number three, my favorite digital products, okay? Digital products are amazing because it's something that you create one time and then it doesn't necessarily cost any more to mass produce. When it comes to digital products, there are so many different types of opportunities out there for you. In fact, I recently published an episode specifically on digital products and how to start to create your first digital product, which I will be sure to link here and in the show notes. So after this episode, you are welcome to go and binge watch that. But digital products are amazing way to just package your knowledge, skills, and expertise into a container that can easily and cheaply be delivered to paying prospects. And once set up into an automated marketing sales funnel can be generating you revenue overnight. Passive income idea number four is to create an online digital course. Technically an online digital course is a type of digital product, but this one needed its own bullet point because it is my absolute favorite type of digital product. An online course really is not as hard to create as you might think. In fact, I have a really fun method and how I teach you to first and foremost identify your monetizable expertise, what your online course should be about, and then how to take it to market and get paid to actually create it in a really fun way. And so for more information on how to do that, be sure to visit my website, mollyannluna.com. Once you've created your online course using my signature method, then passive income idea number five, creating a published ebook rolls right into that. I will show you how to convert that digital course content into a self-published book without having to physically write a single word of your book. That's for those of you who are like with me who are like, I can write, but I don't love to write. Turning your thoughts into words, into written form is just so much easier than you might think. And there is a real demand for it in the online market space. But you know, if writing is your forte, that's cool too. You can write your book from scratch. But I highly recommend considering pouring some time, energy, and focus into writing an ebook and taking it to market as your next passive income stream. Passive income idea number six is to create a print on demand online store. So if you're one of those ultra creative people who are like really good at art or calligraphy or even photography, you can take your creative works into the digital space and create actual physical products. Things like mugs, canvases, keychains, t-shirts. I mean, really the sky is the limit. And now with e-commerce stores, getting them set up, it's so easy. If you can navigate Facebook, you can navigate setting up your own print on demand online store. Take for example, my dear friend and neighbor, Matthew J Photography. He recently launched his new photography website. He's a very talented photographer who now has the opportunity to mass sell his gorgeous images online. That one photo could be used as stock imagery, sold to magazines, printed on canvases, or cool metal pieces of art. A print on demand store is just a really cool way to start making money, no matter what your skill set is, or even if you don't even have a camera, you could get started by snapping pictures with your phone. 
After all, everyone starts somewhere. Passive income idea number seven is to create a YouTube channel with YouTube being the number two search engine in the world, meaning people who have questions on their mind are going to their digital devices and typing in questions. And once you as a YouTube content creator actually crack the code and are able to become a YouTube partner, you can begin earning a portion of the ad spend. So there are businesses out there who are spending money to get their ads in front of you. And by clicking on that video or watching that ad, that creator is able to get a small percentage of that. Now, in order to become a YouTube partner, there are specific thresholds you have to meet. You, for example, have to have 1,000 subscribers and at least 4,000 watch hours to be able to get a small piece of that money-making pie. Now, for me personally, I will tell you right up front, I have been navigating uh, YouTube for about eight years, but not strategically. Only since rededicating myself to really growing an audience on YouTube, I have spent 19 consecutive months just trying to crack that first threshold of becoming a YouTube partner, and we are this close. So please, if you are watching, help a sister out and click that subscribe button. Um, doing so would mean the world to me and of course provide additional resources for myself and my team to show up and continue to make awesome content like this for you. There's no denying that YouTube, it's, it's free to start. It's easy to start, but there is a ton of skills that you have to build in order to truly make it a passive income stream. What I do want to say that despite yet reaching partnership and monetizing through Google AdSense, my business has been able to generate money on automatic because I have my YouTube channel linked to my various other digital platforms and the opportunity to say, buy my online courses or self-published books. Passive income idea number eight is to publish a podcast. Now, what I love about podcasts is that they are free to low cost to set up. I think I'm paying about $15 a month for my podcast publishing platform. You just get set up with a few clicks of a button and you don't have to have any special skill set to get started. No radio voice required. <laughs> you just uh, have an idea that pops in your mind, something you want to share, push record and get to publishing. Now, the downside of podcasting is that Currently, there is no real built-in algorithm where they're trying to match the listeners with the podcast episodes. Not like on YouTube, where YouTube has an algorithm. They're trying to match viewers with videos, and the videos that get more views make more money. Podcasting doesn't have that just yet. The really only true way to make money podcasting is through ads and specifically like ad sponsorships through various businesses. Now, if you don't have that set up when you're just beginning, then you can use podcasts as a way to advertise for your other paid products or services. While you're building your brand over time, you can be aligning yourself with paid sponsorships that will then eventually pay you as your listenership increases. The average current cost for podcast advertising ranges anywhere from like a 30 second advertisement of $18 CPM to $25 for a 60 second spot. And what that means is that then for every 1000 listeners you have for your particular episode, if someone wants to insert a 30 second spot, you're going to make about $18. They want to insert a 60 second ad spot. That's going to make you $25 per every thousand downloads or thousand listens from your podcast audience. Passive income idea number nine is affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is so cool because all, most of the top brands or products out there offer some sort of affiliate marketing partnership. And typically it doesn't take anything but just like a quick little registration to become an affiliate partner to really get that revenue stream up and going. Now, it is very helpful if you've done your due diligence and you have built an audience, whether that's an email list, through your YouTube channel, through your podcast, or from some other social media platform, and you've got people that you can share or promote those affiliate products or services with, you'll of course you know, have more 
financial success doing that. Now, one of my most favorite affiliate marketing opportunities is to partner with Amazon. Literally, it just takes a couple minutes to set up and any product or service you can think of that Amazon sells, you can share it out there. And if anytime somebody clicks on one of those links and then starts shopping on Amazon, you get a small percentage cutback from the money they spend there. As an affiliate marketer for many of my most favorite brands and products, I like to house all of my links over at mollyannluna.com backslash smart tools. So you might just head there, have a look to see what types of opportunities are out there for you. Passive income idea number 10 is to publish a blog. Creating a blog takes some work. You do have to have some skills. You gotta have some writing skills. You maybe have to have a little bit of technical skills to get it all working smoothly. I didn't know this when I first started my blog. You really do need to have some SEO skills. So it takes some upfront work to get going. But the really cool thing about publishing a blog is now you have a domain that you own that you can now plug all of your other passive income streams into your affiliate marketing links, uh, access to your digital paid digital courses, access to your self published books, access to all the content you've been publishing on your YouTube channel or your podcast. It really can become a powerful central command station for your audience to visit and the opportunity opportunity for them to see your paid offerings, make those clicks, and for you to earn that passive income. Passive income idea number 11 is to set up a drop shipping store. If you're someone who just loves physical products, but you don't want the hassle of having to like take the orders and fill the orders and mail the orders, then setting up an online drop shipping store might be the next right move for you. There are lots of incredible platforms out there to help you do that. Uh, you just select the products that you are wanting to sell, get it all set up nice on your website and then just get out there and start promoting it. One easy, simple to really get going, really very little tech know-how required is Shopify. There you have it. There are my 11 easy ways to generate passive income and be earning $100 a day or more for your household. Now I'm curious to know which of those 11 passive income streams will you be focusing on setting up next? Drop me a comment down below. And as I previously warned you at the top of this episode, sometimes setting these passive income streams up take days, weeks, months, or even years of focused, intentional work before you see the fruits of your labor. But here's the thing, your time's going to pass anyway, so why not pass the time trying to create your next passive income stream? Trust me, your future self will be thanking you. In the meantime, if you're curious to find some other money-making passive income stream generating ideas, do be sure to tune into the next episode.